crock pot meal. It is going to be, TK, get your fingers out of my crock pot. <laughs> it is Mommy, going to be open it. spinach and ricotta Mommy, ravioli. Open it. I actually have to run to the store real quick because I need ground beef. Mommy, open it. I asked somebody to give me ground beef and now all of a sudden they can't get the ground beef. But anyway, you guys, <laughs> stop today. I want to try. I want to No, baby, this is, can you try this? But um, this is an easy crock pot meal, you guys. Simple, easy. Stop screaming. Bruh. You don't need that many ingredients at all. Um, So, first off, I'm going to add in a little bit of water. We're going to take this little bowl. This is and just dump some water in there. Then I have my frozen onion. I'll throw some onions in there. Stop screaming! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Then I have, you can choose any pasta sauce you guys want. I'm going to use this classical tomato and basil. And what I do is I usually put half of the sauce at the bottom. Half, half of the sauce at the bottom. Then I open up my ravioli. Mine. I want to take it. I want to try. Mike, I want to try. All you got to do is dump it in here. baby all right ah! then we have some green chilies i'm only gonna do like half of this you guys we don't really don't need i anything. made it hold I'm on try. tk i'm not even using the whole thing i want to try that's it all we're using can't help you <laughs> oh no Italian seasoning. Keep forgetting that this is missing the whole top. That's all the Italian seasoning we're gonna need for this whole recipe. <laughs> um, some garlic powder. I was supposed to have some onion powder, but I guess since I have the onions in here, it's fine. And then last but not least, I got oh! roasted tomatoes. I'm gonna try. You gonna be quiet? No. Okay, you can't try it in. I want to try it. Okay, that's enough. All right. Is that tomato? Yes. My tomato. Then we're going to take the remaining seasoning. Don't put your hand on that. That has cut you. No. We're going to take our remaining ricotta. Ricotta! And cheese ravioli. Stop putting your fingers on stuff. Stop, boy. I'm gonna try. I want to be quiet. Okay. Dump that in. Good job, beauty. All right. It's all. It's all the same. That's okay. Mm. All right. Then we're gonna dump the rest of our sauce in. Yeah. Throw that away. Let's go. Dump the rest of the sauce in, cutie. Just dump it over. Just don't be goofy. There you go. Both sides. That's Get over there, too. It's a ketchup! TK, it's not ketchup. It's pasta sauce, goofy. 
It is past this house. Oh my gosh, you're so goofy. <laughs> Alright, can y'all even see that? Okay, you can't kind of see that. I don't have I'm not using the back camera, I'm using the front camera. So I couldn't tell if y'all seen that or not. This little guy. And then we're going to go ahead and dump in the rest of our fire. Roasted sliced tomatoes. You want to dump it in? Mm -hmm. Shake, shake. Good job, cutie. It's gone. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it for the beginning of it. Like I said, we're going to run in the store, get some ground beef, and come back. So, yeah. That's it. Pretty easy recipe. Just leave it in the crock pot and go. I already turned it on, cutie. It's already on. What are you doing? It's supposed to be on high. It's supposed to be on high. All right. So now we just put the top on, y'all, and let it cook. And we're going to have a salad with this. So it's hot, baby. Don't touch that. So I got to check the tomatoes real quick to see if the tomatoes are still good. I had these tomatoes for a while now. So double checking. They're not looking too good, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, they're not looking too good, y'all. So they're kind of smushy. Ah! So... TK, I told you to leave it alone. Stop touching it. So, um, stop. TK, leave it alone. I need it on high. Stop touching it. I need it on high. Okay. So, we're going to let that cook, you guys. We're going to run in the store to get some ground beef and some tomatoes. And then we'll be right back to check our ravioli. So, we will see you guys in a few. All right, guys, so we left, we came back. This is what the, thus far, as you guys can see, it has already melted down. There is no longer any like really huge clumps. There's still a few clumps because it is still kind of frozen. Um, we were only literally gone for like 15 minutes, but it went that dramatic in about 15 minutes. So I only got a small roll of ground beef the pack of the pack of ravioli wasn't really that big. I mean, it was big, but prior to now, I used to do two of those. So meaning four beef total to make a whole big thing. So if that was the case, I just would have bought like a three pound of ground beef. But since I'm not doing it that way, I just bought the one pound. Because, like, we really don't even need that much ground beef, to be honest. And I was actually thinking about possibly doing it with chicken, too. But I don't know. Like, I, I have another recipe in mind for chicken later in the week. So, I didn't get the chicken, y'all. I didn't get the chicken. I'm just going to go ahead and open up this ground beef. We are going to season it, too. We don't need that much seasoning on it, but we are going to season it. So I'm just squeezing it into my pot. And I'm going to let this kind of cook by itself because I don't want it to go into the pasta until it's ready. And then by then, hopefully the pasta is like mostly ready but we shall see y'all and if you if i didn't tell you guys like i literally get those big thing of raviolis from sam's club um they're like i want to say 10 to 12 dollars if i'm not mistaken i had that one left over i usually get that one and then i also get like the lobster and cheese one that was my favorite but for some reason, like, they haven't been selling it. So, I don't know what's been going on. Like, is it out of stock or something? But they have not 
then selling it. And like the fire roasted tomatoes that I put in this one, I usually make with like heavy cream to make a sauce for that. But I don't know y'all down there to I do have to do a grocery order next week. So I'll just double check and look to see if they have had the entry. But for the most part, just doing you know what we do. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so concerned. He just came in here with no underwear. <laughs> what is going on? I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm just going to season this ground beef a little bit. So we're going to use some garlic powder. Some onion powder. Regular pepper. I gotta take this all out. A little bit of salt. Literally a little bit, y'all. And throw in a little bit of slap your mama just for a little bit of extra flavoring. Voila. And mix it all in. And then, so we're gonna let that cook down, you guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so our ground beef is complete. Um, I'm actually going to drain this. It's not much to drain. I might just throw it in there as is. I'm, yep, I'm gonna throw it in there as is, you guys. So, now that that's complete, we are going to go ahead and check on our pasta. It does seem like it's boiling a little bit right there in the corner. Give it a good little stir. Yes, you guys, TK is still making monster noises, as you can hear <laughs> in the background. All right, y'all. This is looking really, really good. And we're just gonna take our ground beef and just dump that bad boy in there. <laughs> really TK <laughs> that corner in there and then just mix it all together mix it all in like perfect all right and I honestly think this is like almost ready yo I do I think it's almost ready. I am going to dump the rest of our chilies in here from earlier. And mix those bad boys in. All right, guys, and I say let it cook for literally like 10 to 20 more minutes and it's time to eat. So if you guys don't know, Sunday is my cook and cleaning day. So I'm going back and forth between the kitchen and cleaning the rest of the house because I was literally supposed to have the house clean before we went to Vegas. But, you know, things happen 
it didn't happen. So we left, house was a mess. Came back, house was a mess. And then I was even more exhausted because of catching back up with our time zone versus their time zone. And then when we first got there that night, we literally didn't go to bed until eight in the morning, Ohio time. So it's the thing you guys, literally, we need to get it together. So I am cleaning right now and trying to do this. And then I have to work my four hour shift at seven. So, just trying to get all this done. So far, I've did the kitchen, the living room. I'm trying to do at least TK's room and the bathroom for the end of the day. And then try to tackle the third room and the bedroom, my bedroom. Tomorrow, the most that I have to do to my bedroom is um, clear off like the dresser space on top of the dresser and... Um, hang up the clothes that need to go in the closet and vacuum that's pretty much all i need to do to my room third room though it's a whole nother story you guys you know how that third room is looking right now it's a whole nother story so um just stay tuned you guys i'll be back all right guys so Anyways, y'all, so the ravioli is ready. This is what it's looking like. It looks nice and good. I did. I did. I already ate one. So, um, I started fixing my plate. Then I said, I think I want some cheese on top of this. So, I put some cheese on top of mine. So, I'm going to help you. And then I said, yum, yum, yum. I set it in the microwave for 15 seconds yeah. just to melt the cheese down typical romaine blend lettuce I don't like ice it just I don't know it tends to go bad a lot faster and look a lot worse usually a lot worse than regular lettuce does so I always put TK what are you doing I always put the vegetable in the two cup spot on my um, meal prep bowls because you're supposed to have two cups of vegetables, one cup of meat or whatever you're eating and that's how it's supposed to go. So I got my salad right here. I am going to add a little bit of cheese to that. It ain't even coming out. Okay. A little bit of cheese for my salad. And then I'm going to cut up a cucumber and a tomato. TK, stop playing with my cucumber. You're going to bust it. Yeah. You're going to bust it. <laughs> Play around with him. I might not have a cucumber. Anyways, you guys, rinse it off. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, no. Yes, I do a very thorough. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, the Can you stop yelling? Why have you been screaming all day? <laughs> you can't bite it, Goofy. I don't. Just say you don't want to bite. Get my cucumber. Well, you get it all dirty. <laughs> Y'all, well I'm hungry, tired, literally about to eat. That might be why I feel the way I feel right now. Y'all do not feel good at all. Yes, you guys, I do a whole tomato on my salad as well. I love tomatoes. Cut off the end. Then straight down, just like the cucumber. I do like my tomatoes to be kind of chunky on my salad, you guys. So we're going for chunky tomatoes. Bruh. All right, chunky tomatoes. 
Why, Why you can't just chill and relax? It does. <laughs> it does. It does. But why can't you just relax? Why you gotta be? So, why, you gotta, why you gotta be so extra all the time? It got spikes on it. You don't touch that. It got spikes on it. This is spikes. Okay. It got on it. Those are not really even spikes for real. My bad, y'all. But I'm about to put the rest of this cucumber in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you guys like what my place looking like. I don't even know what dressing I'm about to put on this. Why didn't I get crap some more dressing when I was at the freaking store? This is what I go through, y'all. What am I going to do? Open salad and refrigerator. Try to close it as tightly as possible. Minimize the air getting in there. Open cheese and refrigerator. Oh, is my olive garden dress so good? December 17th, you guys! Who's not geeking? Me. I'm geeking. Still see mommy. That bad boy all in my salad. And yes, you guys, if you did not know, Olive Garden does have a light version of their Italian. That's the kind I get. It has a little bit less sodium than the original. If you guys have ever tasted the Italian dressing, it is very high and salty, but it's so freaking good. So like, it's one of my favorites, but I can't have that high sodium, you guys, because I have high blood pressure, so that's my struggle. Anyways, our end result is looking like for my food. No! Bless you. I love you. <laughs> I love it's, you more. Is that, is that my Swiss stick? What? My dad with stick. No, I got a lipstick goof goof. Are oh, you my talking about my case? On. <laughs> no, I don't have lipstick on. You don't. Really? You're so goofy. Anyways, you guys, for this dinner, I am going to go relax, chill out a bit, eat, breathe, because I've done a lot today. I need to rest and relax. So, until next time, you guys, I will see you later. Bye. Say bye, YouTube beauty. Bye, you. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you.